at that. Whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, not that sound. Um, that is the sound of the wheel bearing failing in the back on the driver's side. I think the passenger side also too is also failing. Uh, I do not believe it's. A, I do know it's not as severe as the uh, driver's side. So we'll address that. All right. And I wanted to um, let you know how to diagnose it, like what it might sound like. You can hear it changes. I'm going a little slower right now. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, we'll 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 solve this together, shall we? So this is the passenger side. This is not really the problematic side. So I just want to show you how to, we're going to do both sides anyway. So if you can see, whatever I do on this side will be what happens on the driver's side. And uh, this is my part. I got two of these SKF BR930033. Ooh, it's made in the United States. And, uh, I got two of them. They are agnostic, so either one will work on both sides. That's what we get. All right. So you see this patina of grease. I did that because. Oh, by the way, you want to like uh, make sure your handbrake is down, so that way you can slide this off. So your handbrake is down on the inside. This is a, a patina of grease. I used that to minimize rust from developing. It works very well. Okay. Before you proceed, you want to make sure your parts match up. So this is what we're trying to get rid of, right? I mean, uh, we're going to get... Now let's try to add another layer of diagnosis to this, right? So, when you turn this... You hear that? So let's say you know it's the barons are failing. So we need to get a new one. Alright, so the driver's side is going to be a little bit worse, so I'll let you uh, hear it when we get it. So let's uh, double check before we proceed. Rip this thing apart. And the part's not the same. So that does happen. Okay. Right, cool, so we have a dust cap here that we need to get off. All right. What do you think we're gonna do for that one? Let's I like think it's gonna fight. Let's see. Hmm. So let's pin that. Let's try a chisel. Here's the thing, right? I don't care about this part. I do care about this. So maybe I should chisel a little bit more that way. Get new dust caps. These things are not, uh, you know, need a good seal. Okay, so we need to get that off of there. So 
be to get that little like uh, dimple out of the uh, indent right here out of that. So the best way to do that is get a chisel, get in there. It looks like I relieved a little bit. All right, so I have a one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter socket. This is equivalent to 32 millimeters, I believe. So obviously this is a Japanese car. So if you want to stay with the metric system, I would recommend that. It's going to give a better... Uh, better fit. So it's going to be 32 millimeter. 32 millimeters, plural. Okay. Don't forget your uh, safety goggles. Man, what a nice day today is. It's Thanksgiving. Can you believe it? Thanksgiving 2020. So that's that. Okay, now if everything goes right, I should we just pull this thing right off? But nothing goes right with cars. Because look, see? There's nothing holding on to it. Alright, okay. Okay, let's just come right off. Yep, it sure does. Wow, look at that. Came right off. Okay. See right here. And over cells. Keyed outer. Kind of like spacer. It gets keyed onto that. So I'll put that there. But that's cool. That worked well. Okay. So we're gonna. Clean this off. Just gonna put a little thin coat of grease. Just a little thin coat all the way around. Just a little thin coat. New part here. So I'm clean that off a little. Okay. Put that up. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, are things never this easy? Okay. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. See that? 
not exactly what I wanted. That's not what I wanted to have happen to my parent. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Never a dull story around here. sits in like that. I have a feeling this is gonna fail on me. I know. I'm gonna figure something out here. Hmm. I wish I could just kind of freeze this, make that small. Or... Hmm. I'm open to ideas, anybody. The interesting part is the original one was uh, beginning to rust. You see that? Right there. So, some things were happening. Okay, alright, let me, uh, I think I'm gonna have to kind of polish this a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Sandpaper on this. Just gonna polish it a little. I'm gonna polish this a little bit. I'm gonna use uh, some 600 grit sandpaper. Try to see what the old one feels like. Let's try the old one. It's definitely not keyed. <laughs> Why did it come up so easily? Okay. That's the old one, right? That's the old one. as easy as that. So they say. <laughs> Let's try not to fuck this up, shall we? I have my doubts. Me. 
because that back wants to come off still. See? That wants to come off. Wow. All these barons are going to get shot. Whatever. I like it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna move forward. Take this. Take some of this grease here. So with this marks are here, yeah, on this side versus that side, so I'm gonna go, that side is down. Kind of helps if I'm like uh, just rusting. Yeah, this, these parts right here end up rusting. I don't like it. It's a little sloppy. fails we'll just gotta get a new one either way you get to see how this works so my concern is that that cap in the back this needs to stay Any kind of dust that gets inside of there is going to like destroy the barrens, any particulates. You know. So we're going to have to get a dust cap. I'm not back on. Take this down again so that way it doesn't back out on you. So, what I would advise if you're going to do this job properly buy a new dust cap, get a new axle nut. What I would recommend. Alright. Alright. That's it. Sounds good?
if you're having problems getting this uh, off this rear drum, you want to like stick a screwdriver in down here and turn it from the back. Okay, that's going to help you get these to compress more so you can slide this rear drum off. Okay. Alright, there you have it. So, that's the entire job. Don't get corona. Better off getting a kissing disease. Alright, and then that. Enjoy the rest of your wonderful Thanksgiving, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. If this was useful to you, like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Send a message to your friends. Let them know, hey, check out this video. What do you think is possible? I can get this back on. In a perfect world, I'd be able to weld that up. I don't have the capacity right now. But let's see. Right, so I just sprayed this already with some brake parts cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and go like that. Well, easy on, difficult off. I love how that goes. What are you thinking? I don't know. Just leave good as good enough as it is. Okay. It's like a Welsh plug. I can feel it grabbing. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this alone because I'm just gonna get a new a new uh, cap. I don't know. We'll go from there. All right. Now here's the driver's side. This is the bad side. Well, the root, the the more broken side. Okay, that. That is a failed bearing. So we need to replace that. I'll bring you back when it's all done, so you can hear the difference. All right. So you can see here. There's a new one. Silent, right? Okay, not bad. I have a feeling that the uh, passenger side one we're gonna have to redo. All right, well, that's it. We're good. All right, let's see how successful our repair was. Tell, uh, go like 70, 65.